Hey guys, welcome back to some more reviews. The Explorer 4 here, The Horror Boy. And I figured that since now that I've seen all of the Wrong Turn movies, and I have covered the newest Wrong Turn movie, which is the Wrong Turn reboot, I would get on here and do a classic styled ranking video. Now this is not going to be like that tier ranking style video like I did from the Halloween series. This is going to be more of a traditional least favorite to favorite, ranking them in that order kind of ranking list. Um... And I've been wanting to make it for a while, but I had to, of course, see the newest Wrong Turn, which I finally did, and uh, now I'm able to do the ranking video. So yeah, this is going to be the Wrong Turn ranking video, let's get right into it, and uh, definitely be sure to, you know, if you want to make a response video of your ranking of the series, or if you want to make a comment and rank the series, um, definitely let me know your guys' thoughts on the franchise in the comments below. Uh, overall, it's a franchise that I have a lot of fun with. I give a lot more credit to it than most people do. I mean, it's like the Saw series. It's funny, looking back on most of the 2000s horror franchises, people don't really give them a lot of credit anymore. You know, whether it's this or, or you know, Saw or any of those, like, 2000s franchises. Like, a lot of people don't look back on them that much. But the Wrong Turn series is pretty fun to me. But, um, yeah, let's get right into the uh, ranking video. So we're going to be going right to the bottom of the barrel. This is number seven um, on the list. And this is my least favorite wrong term movie. Kind of hard to choose this because they're quite, there are quite a bit of films in this series that um, I'm either not really into or I'm not a big fan of. Um, so it's kind of hard to really rank the bottom of the barrel. But to me, my least favorite wrong turn is ironically the newest wrong turn, the wrong turn reboot. I did an in-depth review on this movie. I gave plenty of reasons why. I've actually done reviews on all these movies, but I will warn you guys, the reviews on Wrong Turn 1 through 6 are some horrible quality. I mean, you think this camera quality is crappy? Watch those videos. This audio does not sound like that on the old reviews. They sound terrible, but I did do in-depth reviews on those movies long ago. But the newest Wrong Turn, I also did a review on in depth. I got into everything about this movie. This is my least favorite Wrong Turn movie because this is the Wrong Turn movie that feels the least amount Wrong Turn. This is this is H two. This is exactly like H two, where you have a movie that has a concept that I can appreciate for being different, but I think it strays far too away from the Wrong Turn series to call it Wrong Turn. I mean. It's not much of a film. I don't think it's much of a horror film or a thriller. It's trying to take it seriously again, trying to make it a serious thriller. I didn't think it really worked. Um, there's not a lot of suspense. There's not a lot of horror elements to it. There's not a lot of um, thriller elements to it. I think the uh, acting, the characters is a big problem. I think the biggest problems, though, are the script and the story. And I think that those things really hold this movie back. And... I know some people were mentioning to me in the comments that this was supposed to be the original idea of the first Wrong Turn because I think the writer of the first Wrong Turn who wrote this was a little bit disappointed with that movie because it wasn't really what he was wanting to do. But to be honest, I prefer the script from this movie. I would prefer this, this version of Wrong Turn. If I had to choose, because you know what? I can fairly choose now because if I look at it in that way... Whether it's this vision of Wrong Turn or this vision of Wrong Turn, they're both big budget movies as far as them, you know, they are theatrical movies. I believe this is theatrical. It looked like a theatrical movie. If I had to choose, I had to choose this. This, I think, is a much more creative film. I think it's much more of a horror film. I think it has some great direction by Rob Schmidt. I think this is a much more intense ride. This one knows what it's trying to be. It's trying to be a horror thriller. I like this movie. This didn't quite get into this one. I thought the script, the story, I thought it was a far-fetched idea of this group being out in the woods since the Civil War, before the Civil War. Um, oh, they're, they're out there and the whole community knows they're out there. They just kind of accept it. I'm like, nobody's called the cops on these people? I don't know. I really wasn't into that plot. I really didn't get into the story of the movie. I didn't get into um, just the, the characters. I think the characters make a lot of bad decisions in this movie. Um, overall, this reboot, 
like I said, I think this is a reboot that has a lot of problems. It's my least favorite one. It's got a lot of issues with the film, script-wise, story-wise, character-wise. A lot of big issues with this movie. Just overall, a movie that I thought was not only disappointing, but it was just the, the one that just did not work for me the most. I'll take Wrong Turn 6. I'll take Wrong Turn 5. I'll take Wrong Turn 3, because at least those feel like Wrong Turn movies. And you know what? I'm going to scratch out Wrong Turn 6 because to me, Wrong Turn 6 is pretty close to this movie as far as how bad it is. But I'll take Wrong Turn 3 and 4, even though I'm not a big fan of 3. I'll take Wrong Turn 3 and 4 because they feel like Wrong Turn movies, at least. They have good gore, at least. They have the gore. You know, they have something to them. This isn't even that gory. There's not much to the kills. It's a long movie. It doesn't even be almost two hours long. It's got a lot of bad ideas in it. It's got a lot of bad characters. It's got a horrible amount of dialogue, which doesn't sound good. The dialogue in this movie is pretty bad. But yeah, bottom of the barrel for me is the newest wrong turn. I know people are going to flip out on me because of it, but I did not get into this movie at all. So that is number seven, which is the wrong turn reboot. Wasn't a fan of it. Wrong Turn 6 is at number 6, which is ironic, because like I said, Wrong Turn 6 is pretty damn close to being as bad as the new newest Wrong Turn. Wrong Turn 6 is the worst movie of the original Wrong Turn series, and it's because, once again, it took an idea that I thought did not fit Wrong Turn, and I don't know why it always has to be the sixth movie that has to have this cult idea and... The last thing you needed in the Wrong Turn series was a cult idea about this family that's just bloodline back in the woods and that's how the hillbillies got started and it gives them an origin story and it's explaining this backstory about there being this cult of hillbillies and, you know, they, they do inbreeding and stuff like that. It's a really stupid idea. I did not get into the characters once again. I did not get into the acting. Even the way the movie looked... I didn't really get in the way that it was directed or looked. It didn't even visually look appealing to look at. Um, the kills, for the most part, were kind of forgettable. Honestly, I can't remember most of the kills. The only kill that I can remember is the water hose death scene, which if you guys have seen the movie, you guys know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I can't even remember most of the kills to the movie at all. Like the Most of the kills are forgettable. The gore has CGI enhancements. Just a really lame wrong turn movie. No good characters, no fun moments. Um, you know, just it's just a wrong turn movie to me that just doesn't have that fun energy to it. Just drags. It's a very boring movie. A lot of problems with Wrong Turn Six. Another bottom of the barrel entry in the series. It's nearly as bad as this one. I mean, it's it's got all the problems too. But at least it has mutants. At least it has some decent practical effects when they're there. But to be honest, I would say it's down here at this reboot as far as being some of the worst movies in the series. So Wrong Turn 6, overall, just a very lame entry in the Wrong Turn series. Comment number 5 for me is Wrong Turn 3, Left for Dead. This movie's biggest problem is the special effects as well as the direction and look of the movie. And also, I hate the way that the script plays out and the story plays out. Because I really thought it would have been a cool idea if these characters would have worked together. I mean, you got a cool idea. These prisoners, they, they break out, they're in the middle of the woods, and they got to deal with these mutants. Cool idea. To me, it wasn't executed the best. Um, you know, I do think it has some decent practical effects when you see them. But like I said, the problem with this movie is that it relies a lot on CGI. More so than even some of the other movies on this list. And that's really bad because it's this 2000s generic low-budget CGI that most of the time doesn't line up right. Like, there's a part where this guy gets wrapped around a barbed wire, and that whole scene looks terrible because it's a clearly a CGI in effect. Um, but yeah, most of the characters, I thought, once again, weren't really memorable at all. The lead guy is named Nate, so hey, I'm the lead of the movie. That's about all I know about the guy, though. But the characters... Well, there weren't much. Um, you get like one mutant, technically two, but the other one doesn't last very long in the movie. You get, I think, three finger and three toe. 
which I thought were that, that needed more mutants. Like I get it, most of the mutants died in Wrong Turn too, but you needed more mutants in the movie. Most of the film is just traps, which okay, it's different. I can appreciate that, and I like the idea of certain traps. Like a scythe comes down and cuts this guy's face off, which is it would have been really cool if it wasn't CGI. The egg slice trap would have been really cool if it wasn't for CGI enhancements and stuff like that. Um, you have a crazy opening where a girl gets shot right through her boob and right to this dude's hand as he's grabbing her boob. And the arrow goes right through his hand and through her boob as well. It's a really crazy scene. Um, yeah, it's just a movie that, to, to me, has a lot of acting issues, a lot of script issues, a lot of just, it looks cheap. It's a long, not really a long movie, but it's just a drag to watch. It's It has a pace that drags. And, um, yeah, overall, I'm not a fan of Wrong Turn, Three Life for Dead. I think it's also one of the worst ones. It's just a crappy movie to me. It's a lot of... Just generic stuff, low budget stuff. Nothing really looks good in it. There's not even a lot of practical effects. Most of it is CGI. And yeah, it has a really bad ending. It has, you know, some dumb decisions by the characters. Overall, I was not a fan of Wrong Turn 3 Left for Dead. I thought it was a pretty, um, pretty bad movie overall. That's definitely uh, coming in at number five. That's one of my least favorites. Coming in number four is Wrong Turn 5 Bloodlines. Now, once again, I'm not a fan of this movie. I think it's a movie that, you know, I will say this. It does have some good practical effects. I will say it has a decent idea of it being in the city, in this empty town. Okay, decent atmosphere. I like that. Um, I like the idea of everybody's going to this festival and these hillbillies are running around the town killing people. Although it's a very far-fetched idea, because how are these hillbillies running around killing everybody, and you're literally telling me that every single person in this town went to that festival? I think it's a little bit of a far-fetched idea. But, you know, this was a wrong-term movie that had some fun moments, like when the girl flips off three finger, he just cuts her finger off. And I think... Somebody gets their hand cut off as well. I think there might have been a hand get cut off. I can't remember if he just cuts her middle finger off or if he cuts her hand off. I can't remember. But you have a lot of good practical effects. It is bloody. It is gruesome. You know, it does have some decent, fun scenes, some really crazy scenes. Um, yeah, overall, it's not really... It's Once again, it's, it's a pretty bad movie. But I will say this. If you want to see some practical gore effects, you could probably watch and get some fun out of it for that. But Wrong Turn 5, once again, not a big fan of it. Pretty bad entry in the series. And that's coming in at number 4. Now we're getting into movies that I actually like. And coming in at number 3 is Wrong Turn 4, Bloody Beginnings. Now I had all these movies on DVD at one time, but I got rid of the ones I didn't watch because I don't watch the other movies in the series. And uh, I'm not even sure how long I'll be keeping this in my collection now that I've seen this. It's a lame movie. But Wrong Turn 4 is a movie that gets a lot of flack, and honestly, I think it's one of the best ones in the series. Because, yeah, you have some dumb characters, yeah, they make some idiotic decisions, yeah, there is a little bit of CGI in there. The music, I didn't think was too memorable. But I will say this, this is a fun slasher movie. This has a great body count with some bloody gory kills. Has a lot of fun moments. And that's the thing about the Wrong Turn series. Some of these movies need that fun energy, that fun slasher energy. Which I thought Wrong Turn 2 ramped up so much. That's why I love Wrong Turn 2, because it's this fun, crazy, gory ride. This one's also a crazy, fun, gory ride. Not as good as Wrong Turn 2, obviously, but... This is a good movie. I like it. For a slasher movie, it's got everything you'd want. It's got the gore. It's got the nudity. It's got the crazy over-the-top death scene. It's got some great ideas for death scenes. Like the barbed wire noose death scene. Or the snowmobile death scene. Or the giant, the giant like, drill death scene. That was crazy. Um, they literally take this guy and, like, fillet his skin off and, like, make fondue type stuff with it. It's some crazy death scenes in this movie. I like this idea of it being an origin story. Now, remember, this is the first time we had an origin story in the Wrong Turn series, so this time was a new idea. Okay, I like the prequel aspect. I like how you see how they all started, how they break out, and this is their first 
kind of hideout is this asylum. The asylum atmosphere, I thought it gave it a great atmosphere. The snow, great look, good choice, very, very new decision. I like a lot of the news that they bring in this movie. Um, the three killers are the best part of the movie. They're the parts of the movie that you're the most interested in, that you want to see. Um, they're good villains in the movie. It's a lot of crazy death scenes. It's a very bloody, no pun intended, movie. But, um, yeah. Wrong Turn for Bloody, Be Bloody Begins, to me, it's a fun movie. It's a fun slasher movie. I really enjoy Wrong Turn 4. Coming in at number two, though, we're going to be getting down to the last two. These are my absolute favorites of the series. Number two is, believe it or not, the first wrong turn. Yes, the first wrong turn comes in number two. I mentioned in that review I did the other day that I have some issues with this movie. I don't hate this movie. I don't despise this movie. But I don't think it's a perfect movie like everybody says it is. Because there are some things that I thought in this movie, they, they I watch it and, I, and that kind of bugs me. Number one is I think there's some times where the pace slows down. And I think it really does show in this movie. There are times where it slows way down and you're waiting for it to pick back up. There are times where the CGI effects do not, you know, do not age well. I also thought the music in this movie wasn't, as good as in Wrong Turn 2. I remember there being some good music in this movie. But in this one, I, I didn't really care for the score. I mean, it's there. It's an okay score, but it's not really what you would expect from the first one. You figured it'd have that catchy tone, that theme song, you know. Not a really great score. Some weird editing at times. Um, some weird um, just pacing moments where it slows way down. The CGI effects at times do not age great. But I do think this is a great thriller horror film. This is a fantastic film. I think it's a fun time. Um, it's got some decent practical effects when it's there. I think that's also what it is. This is much more of a serious thriller than it is a gory ride. Whereas Wrong Turn 2 made the series a gory, gory, fun ride. You know, that's when it kicked into that atmosphere and that kind of formula. This one is much more of a serious thriller horror film, which I like that, I do, but, you know, there are some decent gory effects, but there's not as gore in every single scene, but there are some decent kill scenes. I mean, the barbed wire to the face, the girl gets her top of her head cut off by the axe, good shot too, by the way. Some excellent cinematography, some good direction by Rob Schmidt. Um, I would prefer this idea more than this wrong turn, personally. I know this is much more closer to the script, but honestly, I prefer this vision. I prefer this, because this, to me, is a lot more of a scary movie. It's a lot more of a horror film. It's a lot more of a thriller. I love that moment where they find the shack, the hideout of the hillbillies. Great, great stuff. A lot of good chase sequences, good thrills. Overall, number two for a reason. Wrong Turn 1 is a fantastic movie. I love the first Wrong Turn. And my absolute favorite of the series, which of course everybody probably knows by now, as I've already showed it, but Wrong Turn 2, Dead End. Wow, this is an impressive sequel. This is how you ramp up after the first movie. The first movie, good thriller horror film, solid horror film. They ramp everything up in this movie. The gore is ramped up. The kills. There's more killers. There's a bigger cast. There's more body count. There's more blood. There's more nudity. There's more chase sequences. It has the thriller aspect in there. You have Henry freaking Rollins in the movie going around killing off these hillbillies one by one. Um, you've got some great music. I love, love, love the idea of the apocalypse. This this reality show because this came out in like 2006 so this is around the time when reality tv was really kicking off and you know blowing up so you have the idea of the apocalypse fun idea really really fun definitely has a good slasher tone to it but it also has some good chase scenes it's directed really well by joe lynch got some good direction got some good camera work some excellent angles and stuff like that very, very fun movie. Very gory, very twisted. 
I like the idea of new mutants, this mutant family. I like the idea of the apocalypse. I like the idea of Henry Rollins becoming this lone soldier type character, picking up the hillbillies one by one. The opening of the movie is what really sold me. That opening with the axe split from, you know, boom to boom, and then you see the guts spill out. Excellent opening. All practical effects, by the way. If there is CGI, it's occasionally, and it's mainly enhancements. Mostly it's practical, though, and I can appreciate that. You have some gross, gory scenes, some disgusting scenes. I mean, you name it, this movie has it. And it's also, I will say, too, it's underrated because nobody talks about how clever this movie is, how clever it is, how it plays around the characters, plays around with who you expect to live and die. It's a clever, smart movie. Fun movie, entertaining. To me, this is my favorite version of Wrong Turn, as in Wrong Turn 2, where you have the thrills, you have the horror moments, but you have a gory fun time. You have Henry Rollins, you have music, you have, you know, the apocalypse reality show, you have humor, fun atmosphere, fun tone. Overall, Wrong Turn 2 is my favorite of the series. Wrong Turn 2, Dead End. I also love that subtitle, Dead End. Great, man. It's just fantastic. Wrong Turn 2, Dead End. But anyways, guys, that's my quick ranking video on the Wrong Turn series. Definitely let me know you guys' thoughts on these films in the comments below. How would you rank them? Let me know in the comments below. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching so much. I appreciate it. Hope you guys had a fun time. Explorer 4 is out, and I'll see you guys later. Peace!